all five agendas were cleared. So the first uh, agenda that we had taken up was regarding the recommendation for uh, the Meghalaya Day Awards. And uh, as you know that these names are announced every uh, year uh, on Meghalaya Day. And so this, uh, the recommendations that have been cleared by the cabinet today will be announced, will be announced on the Meghalaya Day celebration. And uh, so I cannot give the names to you, but I'm just informing you that uh, the recommendations today have been approved and the names for the three categories <clears throat> for the Meghalaya Day Awards has been finalized today by the cabinet. Second was regarding the uh, matter related to the different um, uh, programs by different uh, cabinet ministers, uh, the respective governor and others to take uh, the salute on Republic Day in different locations. So those locations were finalized and the names uh, of different ministers and different uh, uh, MLAs have been finalized uh, as to which location they will go. Uh, third was regarding the repeal of the Meghalaya Civil Task Force Act 1974. Uh, as you are aware that the Civil Task Force Act was made in 1974 and uh, because of obviously the change in the systems and the fact that the need at that point in time when this Meghalaya task force was set up were different uh, and now in today's world the Meghalaya task force is uh, almost redundant where all the concerned uh, employees who were there uh, necessary formalities have been completed and uh, they are all either retired or they've been given a golden handshake uh, and so therefore the Meghalaya task force act in itself is actually uh, now redundant and hence uh, to ensure that uh, there is no further complications the cabinet today has decided that it will be repealed and uh, there were three posts that were there in that those will be absorbed uh, within the department in a, a different branch um, and so this particular um, act the repeal act will be brought in the next uh, assembly session uh, the last uh, sorry the second last uh, decision that was made was uh, regarding the increase in the contingency fund of Meghalaya amendment uh, this ordinance has been brought in of 2024 and uh, basically this is a temporary measure so the uh, contingency fund for uh, the contingency fund of Meghalaya amendment ordinance 2024 will increase the contingency fund uh, from 500 crores to 1000 crores uh, just so that people will understand what this technically means. As you are aware, this contingency fund is basically uh, there because uh, certain provisions uh, that are there in the budgetary provisions, uh, when they get exhausted, uh, until unless we don't uh, pass a supplementary demand in the, uh, in the assembly, then uh, we are not able to utilize the funds or the money. Even if we have the money, we cannot utilize it until unless supplementary demands are done. So hence, in the situation where supplementary demands cannot be passed in the, uh, in the assembly, uh, contingency fund provisions are used. So this is basically a provision of increasing it from 500 to 1000 crores because we are receiving additional funds from Government of India and our uh, overall, overall revenue and other aspects of funds from centre have gone up and hence we are in a position where we will be getting additional funds for some more development work but the provision within the budgetary provisions are not enough to to use that fund. So hence the provisions are being enhanced so that we are in a position to utilize the funds that are going to come from center.